Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Late Night News. I'm your host, and our top story of the day is a Republican tried to kill his opponent, or at least the very least was threatening to, but let's get into some of our headlines for today. Tropical Storm Helene is a catastrophic for Western North Carolina mountains. Entire towns, by the way, have been completely wiped off the map. Hezbollah leaders killing escalates war with Israel. Some Republicans distance themselves from Trump later the attack, but after he called her mentally disabled, the Justice Department sues Alabama, claiming it purged voters far too close to the election. Multiple people were killed after plane crash in the Outer Banks. Uh, very much, very much near the Wright Brothers National Memorial, First Flight Airport. U.S. airstrikes on Syria kill 75 militants affiliated with extremist groups, and Gavin Newsom vetoes a bill which would have required new cars to have speed warning technology by 2030. Now on to our main story. The DOJ unseals an indictment against William Braddock III, alleging he made threats to Ann Paula Luna in 2021. The department unsealed the indictment against the 41-year-old of St. Petersburg in Florida on Thursday, alleging that on June 8, 2021, he made multiple threats to hurt and kill his opponent, Luna, and then fight his victim one in the indictment in a phone call with another individual, victim two. Quote, in her, uh, in her petition at the time for a permanent restraining order, Luna said she received text messages between Braddock and other people in which Braddock allegedly said he wanted to take me out. Luna added that others told her the text means he intends to kill me. I do not feel safe. I am currently in fear for my life from Mr. Braddock, she said in the petition. The Justice Department said that Braddock subsequently left the U.S. and was living in the Philippines, but was recently deported back where he made his first court appearance on Thursday in Los Angeles. He was charged with one count of interstate transmission of a true threat to injure another person. If found guilty, he faces up to five years in prison. The case is part of the Justice Department's Election Threats Task Force launched in 2021. It addresses threats of violence against election workers. Thank you to The Guardian and Maya Yang for the reporting. Um, aside from this, is there? am I surprised? No, absolutely not. Even, you know, they're obviously like, you know, a Republican man is going to be more likely to, you know, especially one. Because the thing is, is that when I talk about, you know, broad strokes about Republicans, I'm not talking about the voter base. I'm talking about the elected officials. I'm talking about the pundits. I'm talking about, you know, people working in the think tanks. I'm not, I'm talking about politically activated ideologues. I'm not talking about your average, like, mom and pop voter who are just, you know, live, who, 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 who didn't meet a Democrat until they went to college. Ultimately, or have never met a Democrat in person. So ultimately, um, this is unsurprising, you know, people who are politically activated that far to the right, especially in a primary of the Republican Party going against a woman, I'm very much not surprised by this and also the phrenology of this man is very very much that of someone who looks at a woman like a piece of meat or less than so you know again he threatened he's currently you know being prosecuted for threatening to kill his political rival so i'm not inclined to be charitable here hey thanks for watching if you want to you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hivmedia.gg/discord. Discord links there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hivmedia.gg/tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boon to my mental health. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day.